Hi, welcome to Wilson's Weekday Wines. Tonight we are drinking 2018 Ridge Boatman Zinfandel. Now this wine did not really wow me when I opened it, I'll be honest. It is um, reasonably priced, it's in the 30s. I'll put the exact price in the description. I forgot to look it up before this video. It's I think it's a lot better now that it's been open for an hour. I would definitely decant this and let it sit because the first glass I was kind of like, eh. Second glass, about the same. Third glass, well, I got three glasses out of this bottle, so you know, two and a half glasses. I shared with my wife. The third glass really started to open up. But it's still subtle. There's a little bit of an earthy taste, long finish, uh, watered down strawberries, watered down blueberry, maybe more, more on the strawberry side. And yeah, it's, um, it's not acidic. It's not really, it's not in your face. I'll say that. Um, it's a nice color, a little bit thin body. I mean, it's a, it's a really, what do I want, what do I want to say? Innocuous, uh, just kind of unassuming Zinfandel. Now, the Dutcher, Dutcher Crossing that I had on the channel before really loved that, really had some strong flavor profiles. This, I mean, what do you say about kind of subtle watered down strawberry? It doesn't sound very good. It is good. I think it's good for the price. It's not a, oh wow, that's, I want to have a second bottle of that. Hmm. Long finish. I mean, it's still going. Still going. Not, um, not hot alcohol, not very alcoholic. It's 2% Petit Syrah, 98% Zinfandel, Alexander Valley, Sonoma County, 15% alcohol. I mean, I really like Ridge. I think this could be a really great wine if I don't drink it all in five to ten years but yeah it got way better after it was open for an hour so my advice 30 something dollar price point good price point not gonna knock your socks off but a really subtle easy drinking zen uh, not super full body but um, open it let it sit decant it and then start drinking it in an hour and then I think uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised but if it were me I would take take the Dutcher Crossing that I had uh, a couple weeks ago on the channel that one that was a phenomenal bottle of wine and similar price point to the rich so yeah I guess this is just kind of a so-so review but um, it's not bad. I mean, it's not something, if it was $50, I'd say definitely not worth the price. But in the $30 price point, I think it's decent. So with that, I'll leave it to you to decide if you want to try it. And that's it for tonight. Cheers. See ya.